Hot moments are coming to NHL 24, so I thought, why not play through the greatest hockey player to ever play his hot moments? Now, in NHL 24, power-up icons are going to be much easier to obtain, and Wayne Gretzky will again be one of the ultimate icons to chase after. He'll be joining Mario Lemieux and Gordie Howe as the other two ultimate icons. Now, there will be two moments for each of the ultimate icons, and I was able to play through the two Wayne Gretzky moments, so let's see how it went. 50 goals in 39 games. Wayne Gretzky's first moment comes on December 30th, 1981, as he sets a record with his 50th goal in 39 games by scoring five against the Philadelphia Flyers. Our objectives? Score five goals with Wayne Gretzky, get an assist with Wayne Gretzky, and take 11 shots with Wayne Gretzky. Also notice, we will be player locked as him. 50 goals in just 39 games. It's been over 40 years since Wayne Gretzky etched his name into the record books. On December 30th, 1981, Gretzky stormed onto the ice with 45 goals on the season. He scored four goals before adding an empty netter with just three seconds left. Gretzky reached the milestone, eliciting a standing ovation. This is your moment. Ignite the rink with a great one. Net five goals to set the record. Now, while I love Hup moments, I gotta say, it's a bit of a miss to not have the old school presentation for any of the older moments in the game. I can't imagine 20,000 fans waving around a glow stick back in 1981. But hopefully we'll see some updates to that maybe next year. Now, full transparency, I've never seen Wayne Gretzky's five goal game against the Flyers. I wasn't even a thought. So I hit YouTube and did some research. And I thought, why not try and complete this moment the exact same way that Wayne did it back in 1981. Here's how it went. I mean, it was just a completely different game back then. So while I wasn't able to complete the five goals by just taking a slap shot from legitimately anywhere on the ice, I was able to get the 11 shots on goal that Gretzky took, as well as his assist, which allows me to confirm that you can do the objectives in multiple attempts. So now that we've got the shots and the assist done, let's try to actually score five goals in NHL 24. A couple things I noticed, obviously because there's no line changes, your energy doesn't go down, so there's no worry about that. But on top of that, it looks like at least for this one, again, this was a very early build that I was playing on. They were on arcade mode. So while you'll notice that Wayne Gretzky has gold unstoppable force, which should make him one of the better cards early on in the game, I got absolutely thrown around by the vintage flyers so i just wanted to mention that all right what the f i easily just set the record for the most posts in a 10 second clip This is on semi-pro. Bernie Perron's been unbelievable. Finally able to get one here. Also need to point out that I hate that I'm still playing like it's NHL 23 with the low far side shots. In this really early build, it worked quite a bit. I notice it less and less throughout my time playing NHL 24. All right, maybe it's the Broad Street Bullies thing. I don't know. But it was just silly because he's got unstoppable force. Maybe there's a nerf coming. I don't know. Okay, I'm still sick. Let's go. I've talked about not being a huge fan of the flex moments thing, just because I'd rather see just a full celly in the full presentation. But hitting the homie with the dive celly in the flex moments, that one's not bad. That one's not bad. Personally, one of my favorite goals in the game is just the dot upstairs. Like when you aim it perfectly on a goalie short side, just one of the better goals in real life as well.
Breakaway in all alone to end it and nope, that didn't do it. So behind the net is Gretzky's office. And I'm sure throughout his career, if he wasn't using sticks made out of tree trunks, we would have definitely seen a Michigan at some point, right? All right, so a Michigan with Gretzky, probably not going to happen. But we got the five goals, and because in the prior attempt, I was able to finish the other two objectives, like Nicholas mentioned in the deep dive, the moment ends immediately, and you can collect your rewards, which again is a massive quality of life improvement. All right, we've completed the five goal game against the Flyers. It's time for Wayne Gretzky's second moment. Ah, hold on to your butts, Leafs fans. May 29th, 1993, Wayne Gretzky reaffirmed his title as the great one. Amidst the electrifying Toronto crowd, he delivered hockey magic by scoring a hat trick on the grandest stage, quelling the Leafs supporters in a tightly contested 5-4 victory. This feat earned the LA Kings their inaugural Stanley Cup final berth. This is your moment. Personify greatness in Game 7 of the playoffs by scoring a hat trick as Wayne Gretzky. Now taking a look at the goals for this one as Gretzky eliminates the Leafs in Game 7 back on May 29th, 1993 by scoring a hat trick in Game 7 of the Conference Finals. So we've got to score three goals with Gretzky, take four slap shots with him, and then just get five goals in general. We are not position locked for this one. Also need to point out, after doing a moment where you are position locked, it's like super weird to then go back to controlling everyone. It took me like a solid period before I actually like realized. All right, backhand toe drag while using the total controls is pretty difficult if you're someone like me who just like manhandles the right stick because if you click it in, that's how you reverse hit. But it's still like such a silky looking move. Backhand toe drag, low far side. One of my favorite goals to get time and space. Also need to point out that the rosters are really fun in a lot of these moments. However, there are a few where because they don't have player rights, they can't put everyone in the game. So for example, in this Leafs moment, the goaltender on record was Felix Potvin, who would be awesome to have in game. But because they don't have his player rights, the only other goalie they have the rights for is Rick Wamsley, which is why you see him in this moment in particular. Still find it super satisfying to actually set up a tip play in NHL. Was able to here with Gretzky and have Charlie Huddy tip it home. Again, for anyone that doesn't know, L2 at the point. Wait for your forward to actually look at you and then fire for his stick. Still works. All right, ensuing face-off. We still need another goal with Gretzky. So I'm going to put a little bit of a focus on it here. Okay, hold up. Wait for the replay because I thought the same thing. That was a mess. So at first glance, this looks like an absolute muffin from the great one. However, as you can see, it goes off a leaf stick, which is why it was able to go through the goaltender. I also forgot, like, this is on Superstar, and once I got the fourth goal, it was actually kind of hard to get that last one. You definitely notice the increased difficulty. All right, we've completed the goals with Gretzky and the slap shots with Gretzky. Just need to get that fifth goal to finish off this moment. This was before the hip check nerf. All right, that was a nasty shot. I'll give him that. Not going away without a fight. All right, almost put him into the bench here, but I cough up the puck, and Andrew Chuck picks the corner again. All right, we're in the third period. Things are getting a little dicey. Time to end it. And finally, on a nice little one-timer in the slot with Robitaille, this one's all wrapped up. Say goodnight, Leafs. So first impressions, 
I had a lot of fun with these moments, especially the more challenging one. There is a ton of X Factor moments at launch, and it looks like they are going to be updating moments throughout the year with every event. Excited to see with the potential of what they do with moments, but I had a lot of fun completing Gretzky's. So like I mentioned, icons are going to work quite a bit differently this year. First off, there's only about 40 power-up icons, and they are split into four separate categories. You've got playoff heroes, rookies, vintage, as well as dynamic duo. There will be eight per set. Collecting each of those eight will get you a headliner. There are eight of those in total. Cash in the eight headliners, and you will get a choice pack of Gretzky, Mario, or Gordy Howe, which is a drastic improvement from the randomness that you had to do to get Mario or Gretzky last year. Taking a look at Wayne Gretzky's ultimate power-up icon card, right off the rip, you notice he's got gold unstoppable force and silver elite edges, which is the combo that made him so good in NHL 23. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Excited to jump into Hockey Ultimate Team for NHL 24.